So ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our transit video of Jupiter and Saturn, which is going to go retrograde when it's already starting to retrograde today. And this month, they're both going to be retrograde. Um, but I'm, of course, doing this from enormous emails from you guys wanting to know what's up. And uh, I've already made that video actually back in December or January, not sure. But you can go back and watch the detailed video. But I want to make this short and sweet. Okay. Because of the fact there's so much negativity in the world right now, you guys don't need to be bombarded with more negativity. But I do want to keep it logical, statistical, okay? And uh, keep it real, but, you know, not to shatters, uh, you know, one's hope. And you guys know me. I hate making negative videos. I hate giving negative predictions, you know? So that's just me. So anyway, Jupiter and Saturn are going to be retrograde. And one thing you got to understand about retrogression is that whenever planet is retrograde in transit in current time, not in the birth chart, current time, they're always going to behave like that they're in a previous sign. So for example, Jupiter is going to go back retrograde into Sagittarius. So it's going to be in Sagittarius. Saturn itself is going to retrograde in Capricorn, but it'll never move into Sagittarius. It'll stay in Capricorn, but it will behave like it's in Capricorn with Jupiter. So what are these two planets are going to do? Especially on a perspective of retrogression, they're going to be in the axis of Rahu and Ketu. So one thing you will see, the things that are pro progressing forward, the agenda that is progressing forward, the law that is progressing forward, okay, the belief system that is progressing forward is going to regurgitate back. Whatever was moving forward will, you know, uh, kind of return. But it's not returning for just any purpose. It's returning to correct. It's returning to correct a certain belief. Returning to correct a certain logic. Certain commitment to itself. So whatever these planets started. It is going to return and come back. And especially one thing you will uh, see with both Jupiter and Saturn. Uh, because these are very po political uh, planets. Being in the axis of Rahu and Ketu, you can see a lot of like uprising of poor protests. You will actually. Give it about a month. Give it about a month. You will see protests around the world. Because first, Jupiter and Saturn was the authority. Right? The authority was moving forward, planning forward. Now they're retrograde. It's time for them to kind of like crumble under the pressure. And especially Saturn represents the public. Jupiter represents the intelligence, the law, the rules, the regulations. All those things being retrograde so it shows they're going to be uh, broken to or broken by. Um, in your personal life, obviously, I've always said you have to look at the Ashtakvarga score. You have to look at the Binashtakvarga, Sarvashtakvarga, which is the individual score given by a planet to a house they're transiting in, and the total points the house accumulates, which will truly show what this transit is going to do. So sometimes Jupiter Saturn transit are not bad at all. I've seen great things come about with their double transit. I've seen marriages happen with their transit. Now, one thing you will still have to understand, they're going to behave like the double transit of Jupiter and Saturn. Because of the fact they're retrograde, they're going to both behave like they're in Sagittarius. So, for example, if your Mahayan Antradasha matches in the birth chart for marriage, relationship, both Jupiter and, and let's say you're a Gemini ascendant. Or let's say, for example, your Venus is in Gemini or Gemini or Sagittarius, your seventh Lord is in uh, Gemini or Sagittarius. This will suddenly trigger the event of a person getting married. And you must be thinking, well, right now, how can that be possible? Of course, it's possible. People are doing that like, you know, uh, being isolated in front of their uh, computer. That the priest is on the other side or the court person is on the other side and uh, they put the ring. Da -da 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 -da, okay, you're done. So, of course, it's anything is possible. But... Um, you know, uh, again, on the personal basis, how this retrogression of Jupiter will be good for you or bad for you, you have to look at the score. 
And as you know, I, I stopped doing the 2020 transit rating five months, four months ago. Back in January, I think, January or February, I stopped doing it. I'm like, this is going to be just too chaotic on every level. There's, it's, for me, it's just giving that rating is not really going to do much because just, things are just going to be chaotic. And they became chaotic. I even said that in their Jupiter Saturn retrograde a transit video. You know, so I only do the for the 2021. But to keep it just simple and short, whatever was moving and progressing forward, all those things regress back. And they regress back for a better, better, uh, you know, result. Retrogression is all about correcting things that were wrong. You're going to see a lot of change in information, a lot of change in what the belief was of anything and everything. And you're going to see rebelliousness because Saturn is a rebel. And when it's retrograde, it's most definitely is a rebel. It becomes a rebel against the authority. So you will see that with this uh, particular transit. But like I said, give it a month. Let this boat settle in, you know, and then you will see information that's going to come out will be in the context of this retrogression. Okay. So anyway, guys, uh, if you're new to my channel, subscribe below so you don't miss this video and hit the bell button so you get the notification. And if you want to know where your Jupiter and Saturn are being retrograde on your chart, all your astrological details, check out the links here. Check out my full astrological report, including my books, consultations, and link to my academy, Magavidic Astrology Academy, where I'm currently teaching nakshatras through planets and ascendants. So you get, and remember, nakshatras are everything. I've said it before, I've said it, I'll say it again. Nakshatras are everything. When you know that, that's it. That's it. Okay. So anyway, guys, bye-bye.